Hey guys and welcome back. I am going to show you something that apparently I forgot to put in the video of the secret hidden passage door here. It's been uh, over a year, maybe two years since that video. Shelves are fully loaded and it's holding together okay, but I believe there was a smaller gap here when I first did it so I can tell that it was sinking. And the wheel that I have on the bottom now is probably touching the ground. So let me um, open it up here and see, here's the issue. Oh, I gotta get this out of the way. So the real reason why I didn't record any of this, because you can see, I mean, this little entry leads into a closet, which leads into the living room and we've just got a sheet up there right now until I fix it but there was no place of me to put the camera I mean I'm literally squeezing in here as it was uh, just to try to get my drill in here but maybe I can uh, flash a little light here for you maybe that's too bright but I just um, because this is going into plywood, I just put up a one by four and attached the hinges to that. It's pretty simple. As you saw in the video, I attached this to the face frame. The screws came out on the other side, but I took my angle grinder and I grinded them off. I puttied them and I sanded them. So see that's the one by four right now that's attached to the wall and then the hinges just go on that so because I have this space because it was plywood because it's in a closet that's that's just uh, how I was able to do it and then I use popsicle sticks to shim it so it lined up as straight as I could get it. So hopefully that answers your question about the hinges that I used. They could be just regular door hinges. These were kind of like door hinges, but just smaller. Um, so you could use three of them. I went ahead and just used two because that's what I had. Uh, anyways, if you have any more questions, you can leave your comments below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. So sorry to leave you guys hanging on the hinges, but hopefully this answers your questions that you have on this build. Thanks for watching. I'm Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. See you guys on the next one.